Yar, right? Right. We're so serious, we're gonna take this mana vault, pack one, pick one. That's how serious I am. Feels like Blightsteel probably wins there. Depending on if the anguish I'm making was already in their hand or not. Uh, might have been on Twitch's end where the chat wasn't showing up. Does happen from time to time. Karn? Question mark. I mean, you could go down a different a bunch of different routes here, but yeah, I don't mind just taking the Karn. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It didn't even highlight. It just took. Don't do that, Magic Online. Don't do that, Magic Online. Okay, I might be doing green things. Oh man, just spit all over my hand. <sighs> Eshears! Hey man, thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Why is this thing not working? Oh god, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. I'm going to take Rofellos here over the Tretch. And now do Elf. Alright. I like a good green deck, even in Vintage Cube. So we'll take the Sylvan Library here. Memory Jar, Grill Signet. I think secondary pick would be Memory Jar, but Sylvan Library is just too good. I'd pay 4 life for a card, wouldn't you? Okay, now the question is, do I think I can wheel the Nykthos if I take Wall of Roots? And I think the answer is I'd rather have the Nykthos and try to wheel the wall. Not that I think that I, that wheels either, but... Umont, thanks for that two months. Oh, moly dully. Also an Emrakul here. Isaac124, thanks for the three months. Hard work and self-discipline. Wow. Tree Speaks. Manglehorn also very good. But can't pass the Soul Ring. Jeez. Look at this. Look how green it is. Confirmed only white drafter. Hmm. Need your eyes checked, I think. ODB Funkasaurus! A nummy dozen! Uh, can't see chat except in your stream. Yeah, people are saying that it's broken on Twitch, so I'm not going to try refreshing or whatever, but. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Oh, wait. Twitch support tweeted actually a half an hour ago, so a while ago. We are looking into the issues preventing users from accessing chat. Hang tight. And then they haven't said anything since, so. It's not just you, friends. Surreal! Thank you for that Twitch Prime. I've never passed a Relic. I've never passed a Time Spiral. I've never passed... I mean, yeah, basically just those two. Sideboard Claim here. Also just a very main deckable card. Why is this doing that? Get over here. And if there were two cards that I've never passed in my life in the same pack, then I just took them both and cheated. What do I think about Apple laptops? I don't really think anything of them because I don't have one. Indifferent. Do, 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 do. do I have a do I have a background in something besides magic? Uh I mean I went to school for sociology and anthropology. So no. <laughs> no, no, nothing at all. <laughs> we do have fast bond with Oracle, but it might wheel. Primus or Titan? Pri Wait, I guess I didn't notice the Jace until the arch is loaded. I don't really want to take a double blue card here. I think Titan might be better and Primus is more likely to wheel. Passed a time spiral for an upheaval once? Probably not. Oh, that's another card I've never passed. Upheaval. Wow. 
We just keep rattling off cards that I've never passed before. Time Spiral, Upheaval, Coalition, Relic. What else? What else have I never passed before? Mm, somebody then altered the video. You can probably see where the frames were like cut off and then uh, spliced back in. Well, 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 what do we have here? We're gonna wheel this, right? I had that pack with Upheaval, Time Spiral, and some other bomb on YouTube. Again, edited, shopped, fake. I just wanted to put that belief into your guys' head. Whoa, 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 no linking fake videos, okay? That's just not kosher, dude. No linking fake videos. Even if these fake videos are my fake videos. Just don't do it. It's bad. So the thing is, we're not going to be running too many lands in our deck, so Mox Diamond might not actually be very good, right? If I end up running 15 lands in this deck, Mox Diamond becomes much worse. <sighs> yeah, Hangerback is fine. Sword is not bad, since we're going to have a lot of mana dorks too. Right, but I just don't think the Mox Diamond is good in this style of deck. It does, it can enable some things, but I'm not going to be running that many lands, so. It has highest upside, I'm still going to take it. It's just I'm not going to play it, most likely. Channel Genesis Wave. Let's just take the plow under here. Genesis Wave is going to wheel every time. Hello, yes. I see you are having chat issues too. What are you doing here, scoot it and boot it? Shouldn't you be working? Get back to work! Survival of the fittest. It's probably worth taking here. Oh yeah, see you later. Wait, come back! Chat's working now? Okay. They might have fixed it. Uh, again, they posted about 40 minutes ago that it was having issues. So it might be better now. Well, the only way to know if chat is working is to spam Frank or Z and Forehead. Sneak attack. I am going to take that card. Wow, you guys are doing a real bad job of spamming. I guess chat's still broken. Ooh, the gorge now? Or top? I guess since I have Oracle, I'm going to take the top, and we might still pick up Courser. There we did, and we wield the Primus. Good. Okay, I think I, don't, I, I always think that Rule Five looks like Aaron Rodgers, but I don't know who it's supposed to be. Doesn't Rule Five look like Aaron Rodgers? Tell me that doesn't look like Aaron Rodgers. What the hell is that? Foost rate. <laughs> we did wield the Cradle, like a god. It doesn't look like Aaron Rodgers. How dare you? Uh, Tomb over Shardless seems fine, just for the possibilities. Actually, yeah, I have the uh, Temple Garden. We could splash that, too. We have a lot of potential cards here. Game! Uh, love myself a prime time. A lot of good cards here. Can't pass the titties. Still looking for a uh, fatty, though. A better fatty for Channel. Channel Sundering Titan's good, yeah, but is it as good as Channel Emrakul? No, not quite. Is this card good? No. It's filler right now. Rex Age is very good, though. Can I explain top in this deck? Uh, when I took it, I was just t talking about the uh, combo with Oracle. You know, you can just keep looking at the top three. And then if there's one land in the top three, you can reset it on the top and play it from the top. Also good if I get Courser of Crufix or any other shuffle effects. We have Survival of the Fittest, so it's already going to be at least a little bit valuable. Right? Look at the top three. If they're terrible, I can pitch a creature, shuffle it, 
keep looking. It is a little bit redundant, yeah. How did the Stevie Wonder deck do? Oh, one drop. <laughs> oh, one drop. But yeah, if you guys missed it while I was streaming at CES, Stevie freaking Wonder showed up in the background. This pack is insane. Uh, what? Slaver, and there's a Talarian Academy, or, uh, Ruin, or Academy Ruins Wheeling, probably. I need to take either... Well, I think I just need to take the Ulamog here. I think this is one of the cards we were desperately looking for. Arbor Elf, Ancient Tomb, Ewit, though. And, of course, that Mind Slaver, but... Wowie Caboodles. I think Fauna Shaman's gonna be okay here. I have quite a bit of ramp already, and Fauna Shaman's another shuffle effect for, like, top... Also, go ahead and go tutor up our Ulamog or whatnot. Can I explain Llanowar Elves in this deck? Um, actually, no, I can't. It's probably just bad. Good call. I just won't play it. Yeah! Yes! Yes! That was very good. It's so weird how Crater Hoof makes that much of a difference in green decks a lot of the time. <laughs> Wake up! Ah. Mm. Maybe I should go make some more coffee. Natural Order 2? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd say normally we natural order for t prime time or primus, but there will obviously be times where uh, tutoring for Crater Hoof wins the game. Yeah, there was the Academy Ruins for that uh, Mind Slaver. Grab a Russian makeup! You know what I could do? I could go... Well, I guess we're just going to go 16 lands, never mind. 15 lands, even. Mox Jet. Oh, Jesus, all the wheels. What the fudge, dude? I don't even know what I'm supposed to cut or play or... <laughs> How good is Ewit in this deck? I guess good enough. God, I can't believe I didn't take the Mind Slaver there. No, I passed the Ruins already. I suppose we can cut the top two now. Uh, I, mm, no, never mind. I want that. I still want the top. I do need to make, need to make some cuts here. All right. We can cut the Sakura Tribe Elder for starters. Just need one more cut. Do I need Mana Vault? Yeah, I do. I think Vivian's very good here, too. The card advantage is real nice. I can see cutting plow under. I agree with that. All right. And we're going to go uh, 16 lands here, or effectively 16. We'll still run the Mox Jet, even though it's kind of awkward. With them. If you look at my mana requirements, the Jet actually doesn't do too much. In fact, is it possible I'm not supposed to run the Jet? Maybe I do run Diamond over Jet. That seems weird, though. I don't think I could cut the Mox. If this was Mox... Uh, Emerald, this would be the best card in my deck. Alas, it is one of the worst. But No, with only 15 lands, I'm already... I'm already hesitant to run the Mox Diamond. Yeah, it's possible I'm running too many lands. It's very possible that 15 lands Mox Jet is too many. <sighs> Wish we had it in this hand. Maybe we draw Vivian off the top. Turn to Vivian. Regretting it already. 
What? Rexage? Rexage? Manglehorn? Vivian's still good? Land? Okay. Just sky. Wow. Wow, 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 OP. I see you too play the brown game. I'm just going to kill the relic. I don't know how I haven't drawn any of my mana dorks. We have like 10 in the deck. Don't need either of those, so let's shuffle through them. I imagine they're going to kill Vivian here, but they could also go face. And the reason they would do that is because they would have lethal next turn with the colonnade. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We didn't have a. Oh, was she at three? Maybe she was at three. Maybe you're right. I don't think I'm gonna I yeah, I don't think I wanna pay any more life here. I'm scared about a counter spell. Alright, that was very good for us. Their, uh, their best play might just be to activate Colonnade, kill Vivian here, which would be good for us. I did. I did uh, three or four drafts on Arena today. So close to frickin' Mythic! <sighs> I'm at Diamond 2 with almost full pips, I think. No, we lost the last few. We're like halfway through Diamond 2, so... Discredit and upheaval. Arena drafts, though, so those go faster. All right, mommy down. I guess I don't know why I'm using top when I have Sylvan Library active already. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to need to kill Jace before they can uh, flashback upheaval. Why didn't we shuffle the top away? Okay, well they killed Jace. I guess that's not that bad for us. I don't think we're going to pay. I think this is probably okay. Currently our Nykthos nets one mana. Well, if you kill the colonnade, they can't activate the colonnade, duh. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana right now. So we can go ahead and just untap this dude. Okay. 
TV Coon, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. No, because you have to tap three mana total to activate Nykthos, right? So tap two mana and Nykthos itself nets me four total green. I'm sure I haven't played this game perfectly. Well, I know I haven't played this game perfectly, but I sh I'm sure I could have played this game better. Yeah, they're pretty dead here. I don't know how. We've only seen Rafelos. We have like eight or nine in the deck. They're all on the bottom. What's the worst thing that can happen? I mean, this is Vintage Cube. There are a lot of things that could go wrong. <laughs> <sighs> Metamorphose, double green, channel, banefire you for 11. <laughs> Alright, maybe I don't have 11 mana dorks, but I have like 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 7. 7, and we saw Rafelos only of them. Looks like we want to bring in Nature's Claim versus them. Yeah, I don't think I need the top. It just seemed redundant. Upheaval was already in the graveyard, thankfully. <sighs> we knew this was going to happen at least once. So, <laughs> this is like the same exact hand. <laughs> Pretty identical. Stop that! Yeah, can't beat Wrath. Can't beat anything, really. I'm greedy. I'm not that greedy. Come on, now. I don't actually know if that's good. I mean, it is good. It makes them have to have an answer, but... I could almost see waiting a turn. Because if we waited a turn and just found another green source, then I'd be able to run out like Vivian Reed or Natural Order as well. Alright, well, looks like they didn't have anything. It, it's not even that, that it's greedy, it's that well, it doesn't have a higher, chan higher percentage of winning, and yeah, I think it does. I think the greedy play was to actually wait. The greedy play was to wait, because that, that forced them to have an immediate answer, you know. Opponent's deck was living my dream. Just do nothing but play Mana Rocks and have an upheaval in your deck. And here on the opposite end of the spectrum. Oh god, I don't have a Thrag Tusk. Did I take that uh, Kitchen Finks? No, I didn't. So I have Oo oh, I have Bayloth. Ooze, Bayloth, Thrun. Alright, I got some sideboard. Could even bring in the timely reinforcements with the Temple Garden if I wanted to. I do not expect my Elvish Mystic to live very long. Well, that was good. <laughs> yeah, in before they play Vortex. Is up upheaval more fun? Yeah. Upheaval's fun. Opposition's not fun. It's just good. <coughs> All right, raffle down. Mr. Abbott. Thank God. Hellerino's gone. Alright, I need a fade of removal spell here. <sighs> 
This is probably not good enough. So I'm going to take seven, two, four, five. So no, I'm going to take six. No, I guess they're not going to attack with more. Okay. I thought they were going to attack with everything and then pump the satyr. Three, four, five, six, block. Although I suppose if they attack with everything, we can almost like get them. If they were at 14, they wouldn't be able to attack. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to four here. I probably bring in nature's claim question mark. I guess I don't have that enough targets for myself to kill. All right, so pump, take six. Untap, draw forest. Not getting my hopes up here. All right, chip them in. I think it's better to block like this and just make sure I eat two creatures. Obviously, we're just dead to any two damage burn anyways. But this way, I kill two creatures. Oh, is their turn just puppy pass? Oh my god. Do I have a chance? Dude, I'm getting my hopes up. Alright, find a crater hoof and win. Find hoof and win. Hoof, hoof, hoof. Hoof. Actually, I can't play Hoof this turn. I'm one short. All right, come on. All right, well, <sighs> these things happen. <laughs> Sometimes these things happen. Thrun, Veloth, Ooze. I'm going to take out Karn, too, I think. Oh, yeah. If I'm taking out Ulamog and Karn and Sunbring Titan, Channel probably comes out. That's a good call. Just bringing the Elder makes... Seems fine. I could see... I could see Genesis Wave coming in the deck, but uh, I think we'll go like this. We No, we, we don't... We do not need to add a land. If anything, I could probably take out land. Turn two Oracle is not bad. Keep, lose to a red deck having burn spells. Yeah, <laughs> but that's not possible. I'm going to go with Fauna Shaman here so that we can shuffle. It do be like that sometimes. No plays? Hell yeah. I don't really want to draw that elf. But I guess we'll see if there's land on top first. Ow! Oh, I guess I'm supposed to shuffle away so if we can see a land. Hey, survival. What the hell, dude? That was a punt. I, I should have played this elf first, and then used the Fauna Shaman, or played, yeah. I could have I could have had this elf on the battlefield. I 
I guess let's just go get that Rex Sage. All right, they're very dead here. Yeah, this game's over. They have multiple swords, or they have like GTA and uh, whatever that one was, Body and Mind. I'm I'm considering bringing in the uh, the Nature's Claim. All right, I'll take out the top. That's fine. Also, if they don't have a target, it's possible I blow up my own, like, Mana Vault or Mox Jet for 4 life. Though, me taking out the top means I have even fewer targets. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. They're on a mulligan. Might even be a turn 3 Titan, depending on what happens here. The Mox isn't doing anything. A Tanta Burrs, 39 months, 1,709,334 minutes. If they didn't have a burn spell there, we we win the game, but they did, so now we probably lose. Eh, I guess I still had 14. It's not that bad. We're actually doing A-OK -okay here, aren't we? Depending on what they do this turn. Don't hurt me! I'm not blocking! I'll take five. If you're just gonna pump. Okay. I'm at nine. We're getting close to burn range is the issue. Really? Because then if they have a burn spell for my bird... I can't cast prime time this turn, you know. I just need a few good top decks here. Nope, that's awful. Ugh, that's real bad. I took out Ulamog. Do they rip Bonfire? Is that what this is? Bonfire for three? That kills me, right? No, because the Tree Speaker lives. Uh, I don't, what's my best possible draw? I don't have any. I don't have Harmonize. Crater Hope doesn't kill them. 4, 8, 12, 16, 21, 20. Actually, Crater Hope's probably close. All right. I am at three. I guess I could go to one here. Oh, they have Firebolt in their graveyard. Wait, I have to go to one here. What am I talking about? Is there a line where if I block with prime time on Fire Drinker to deal them six, I win? I think Crater Hope wins either way, right? If I block like this, I still have two creatures. Crater Hope would be three. Yeah, Crater Hope still wins here. Three. Yeah, Crater Hope is still lethal. I'm dead to them having a land, so... Might as well get in for six. Oh, a land kills me. The only thing that doesn't kill me here is... Like a sword or a non hasty creature. Well, they just sent me a message. I assume I'm dead. I don't get. No! What? Why did you concede? <laughs> Why would you do that? Win trading! <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> no! I don't want to win this way. Why did they do it for you? <laughs> uh. 
I don't even understand why they do that. Uh, chat did not deserve that in the slightest. Nor I didn't deserve that in the slightest. The opponent had me dead and they then they conceded. That's true. For the memes. Yo, Mung! Thanks for that. Two months. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, maybe this is just karma. This is just the world writing itself. Butterfly flaps its wings. Oh. That's not that bad. That's not that bad at all. I could still be close to dead, but uh, it's indestructible. I can't kill it. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I kind of forgot that it had infect and that I wasn't going to uh, persist. So I lied. It was, it was still very bad. <laughs> well, I mean, they're at seven. The Primus doesn't kill them and I don't have a Hierarch in my deck. Was there a different way? Not... No, because we had the Crater Hoof in hand and that wouldn't have killed him anyways. Was... I guess getting Prime Time was the correct hit? Get Prime Time... No, that still doesn't do anything. Alright, alright. When I say it wasn't that bad, I was very wrong. I, I kind of forgot I wasn't persisting here. I don't think there was a better hit for us, though. Get prime time, get land, that still doesn't do much. I still have to chump for the turn, and then I don't kill him on the following turn. Alright, well, justice. Justice would be me would be me getting channeled again on turn two. Uh you can't get uh you can't get anything but green creatures with natural order. Oh my. I guess I'm just going to level up my tree speaker now so that we can carn them turn three. You know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> They're going to mana drain me. Oh god. No! <gasps> You thought this was Vintage Cube? Nah, we're modern now. We're modern now. We just have the green version of Soul Ring and Ancient Tomb. Easy. Oh! <laughs> it turns off the Karn until I draw Rex Age. Oh my. Mully dilly. The bad news is, I know I'm not drawing anything relevant next turn. The good news is, the opponent's still not doing much. The question is, was I supposed to play out the Oracle or keep it for Shana, uh, Fauna Shaman? That's the real question. And it's very possible I was supposed to keep the Oracle in my hand because it also represented something like a, uh, like a uh, Crater Hoof as well. Anemic beatdowns, though. Can't beat them. Maybe they just tinker. Green source. High tide? 
This is bad because it shuffles my library and I might not draw a creature next turn. That's why it's bad. <sighs> well, they have to take a lot of things into consideration here. Because if they don't take Crater Hoof and I draw a creature, then I just kill them. Well. Might have a problem here, kids. Uh, Primetime might be giving them the best opportunity to win. The best chance to win. Yeah, top's insane. Absolutely. I'm not getting my hopes up. Counters could be anywhere. Everywhere. Just tap out for like a mere battle sphere. That's what I want to happen. Mere battle sphere go. You know what the safest safest play probably is? Is just to draw the Ulamog. I know Atlanta War taps for two. But I didn't want to have one extra floating. Okay. <laughs> yes. Punted if days? Both of these creatures add mana. So does my mana vault. Remember, my Draga Tree Speaker is fully leveled, so all of my creatures currently can tap for two mana. I think they have Time Spiral or something, right? But I guess maybe you're right. I feel like that doesn't really do anything here. Why do I feel like if they have a counter? Another counter, a real counter. Because I could go get Crater Hoof and kill them. But what if they have like a treachery? <sighs> then things get scary. Eh. Treachery's not even that bad. Gear Hulk Romant? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're digging is all they're doing. For the record, I lose to a time walk. No, because they had a lot of mana untapped still. If they just cast Counterspell into... Uh... Oh boy. Counterspell into like Treachery, that's a, that's a problem. Channel Blight Seal Time Walk. I, if they do it, I deserve it. Anything that has happened that has been poor for me, I've deserved. Because this is for chat. I guess this is just Mr. Blight, huh? Yeah, okay. Well, not naming Fauna Shaman had to be a mistake. Unless they have Force of Will in their hands. <sighs> Wheat. Corn flour mix, eh? Alright, my turn. I'm going to turn two channel Ulamog them. Them having bribery in their deck is also really bad for us. Wheat is flour? It can be. Edamame tortilla with chia seeds. Alright, that guy's banned. Jack the Mind Sculptor, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Okay. 
I think Rafelos is actually a bottom. As weird as that seems. <laughs> Calm down, chat. Calm up. No lands. Could have the romance still. Oh. Oh. We'll see if they have remand. No big deal if they do. Sure. So I can either Sundering Titan or I can Prime Time here. I don't think I can do both. I can do both if I want to go down to one life. Mama ain't raised no coward. Days. I can't use the mystic. It's uh, revoked. <laughs> oh my god, I almost died. Thank God for Cradle. <sighs> yes, praise Jesus. And we had natural order for uh, Cradle Hope next turn. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.